Hi, Howard. It's Dave. Uh, it's August 21st, 2018. I'm in one of your Starbucks stores, uh, the one on the University of British Columbia campus, just on the east end of the campus. Um, and it's about 8.20. Uh, I wanted to say goodbye. I... I found out a few days ago that you weren't the chairman of the company anymore. One person said it happened a month ago, Some one, someone else said several months ago, so I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say to you. Um, they said some bullshit that you're running for, pardon the French, that you're running for the Democrat Party, something, I don't know, I didn't even pay attention whether it was at a governor level or something else. But I know it's bullshit. Um, I wondered, I could see that they were affecting you more and more as time went on. And it's, it appears they have really gotten to you. So I apologize. I don't know what to say, Howard. It's like the Midas touch, except it's in reverse. Everything I touch or comes near, they come near. They got rid of the, star, they got rid of the apple fritters in Starbucks, unfortunately, too. So, I'm, and the really sad thing is we can see beneath here what's really going on. The psychiatrist must have told them, told, yeah, told them, you know, get rid of anything. Like, what they're doing is trying to get rid of everything from my life that's a memory or any kind of memory, any memory anyone has of me. So they're wiping out my life's existence. But what they're trying to do is remove from my life any kind of thing that I can associate with anyone under any circumstance, even if it's just, you know, a black swan arriving in the river, they've decided to just infiltrate and cut off. So unfortunately, Howard, that affects you. It affects your apple fritters, unfortunately. Your apple fritters are a victim to this violence as well. I wanted to say it isn't the same coming into Starbucks. They, they That's why it, it was purposeful and it was to remove someone from my life that was someone who I've never met. But even that is too much of a friendship that it can't be allowed. Even for me to have um, a good business relationship, because that's what we have right now, with someone it, that would give me any pleasure or satisfaction or joy is not allowed. So it has to be removed. So unfortunately, Howard, we see that you have been removed so that you are not in my life at all. I cannot have those feelings even when I go to Starbucks. Remember, they control your thoughts, they control your emotions, they control your actions. They don't want you to have a feeling of something good when you walk into a coffee store. It must be negative. Hence, they removed you and they removed the apple fritters. What do I say to people whose lives have been affected just by being in my sphere? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got affected by this bullshit too. That's the truth of the word, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we all got affected by these bullshit con artists. So Howard, I'm trying to hold on <laughs> to my old Starbucks memory and out of loyalty to you and appreciation for what your story has done for me during this hellhole period that I've gone through. Um, things change, so you're not president anymore, and who knows if it's appropriate to change that in any way. So things happen and they happen. They don't want me to go to Seattle and meet you as C CEO of Starbucks Corporation. They want to take away that pleasurable memory, and they have. They're good at that. They're good at being miserable little fucks, aren't they? You you know now by now Howard too. They're real miserable little bastards, just like him. Um, I do want to still say I do believe Jesus Christ is with you. I don't know what your true religious thoughts are inside your head at three o'clock in the morning. What you really truly believe, but Jesus is with you and around you all over. You did not get this by chance you got it by hard luck and a lot of brains but you got it because Jesus Christ is near, is near you so I want to make sure you have that pleasurable message um, it's a good thing to have it's really a good thing to have Jesus Christ near you 
Howard, trust me on that one. It really helps. It helps you avoid gas attacks. It helps you avoid all kinds of things. Um, they tried to murder me through gas, mercury gas at 25 Arthur Street North in Guelph. So God actually warned me not to go in the house ever, and I didn't. But I want to let you know you've done a fantastic job. Uh, you should be very proud of your accomplishments in life, and you have a wonderful spirit about you. I, I hope you find an opportunity that's worthy of your spirit. And maybe we'll all be blessed with another great enterprise. Uh, so I want to say goodbye. Um, hopefully we'll meet one day. And it could be just as pleasurable as what we might have had in Seattle at Starbucks. Life is a funny way of working out. So let's just trust Christ and we'll meet one day. Somewhere. Thank you for everything. You have great apple fritters. You did. <laughs> but you don't anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. Have a good day. We'll talk soon. Bye. You keep it. You got it all. Great.